Hi everyone, welcome back. This is another how-to video on fly tying this time. All right, so this is Doug's ghost minnow. It's a it's a pretty simple pattern, um, but let me show you some details about it. So this right here is Doug's actual pattern. Uh, it's pretty sweet. I I mean it's a great tie. It's it's wonderful. Um, I like all the details about it, except for one thing. The tail's a little too long for me. I've gotten way too many like grabs on the tail and you can just feel it pulling out of the fish's mouth. So I just find the pattern is just a little too long. My adaptation is this. So I tie it more like this. You can see it's quite a bit shorter than Doug's original pattern. Like I would say the pattern is about three and a half inches long um, when Doug ties it. And it's about, it's about two and a half inches long when I tie it. So... Either way, um, you know, feel free to go either direction on it. They both catch fish, and they're both fun to tie. So, so we're gonna get into it here. Let's. Uh... All right. Finally, we're using this hook on this pattern. This is a pretty nice hook. I've been pretty happy with it. The hookup rate's been good. Um, they're not too expensive. I think it was like five bucks or something for this pack um, But I definitely recommend that one We're using these eyes right here So you can get a good idea what we're using We use ice chenille for this fly. Uh, we use the clear ice chenille and also the fire orange or red ice chenille. So what we do with this fly is we stack unique hair on top of itself. Uh, the first color I'm going to start with is icy blue. All right, now we're going to top it with some olive green. Alright, so this is, the, this is the other half of that blue strand I tied in, cut it in half and now we got something for the top. Um, flashaboo. This is a really crazy iridescent flashaboo. I'll throw a little bit of that on. I do, um, 
two strands per side. So I hope you enjoyed this fly. As you can see, it's a pretty quick tie. Um, really pretty easy materials. And you kind of saw the hardest part of it. So if you think you can handle that part, you know, definitely give this a try. I've tried it in other colors. I mean, it's a great bait fish imitation.